Alrighty, so we are going to be recapping this amazing game between the Florida Panthers and the Dallas Stars, which is happening, which happened today at Tampere, Finland. And this was a this was a classic. This was a really good game from both teams. And honest and honestly, though, this game was so wonderful. Even even some players in the team got emotional. And I'm talking about homegrown players, you know, Lil Serena, Lundell, uh, Mikola, more importantly, Barkov, who who had contributed in a huge way. So we, we shall get this thing going. So um, it is Sergey Bobrovsky going up against uh, Jake Ottinger, who didn't ha didn't quite have the game that he wanted. And the Florida Panthers starts off with a goal, 28 seconds into the game. 28 seconds into the game, um, Rodriguez will score on the tip and he is assisted by Barkov who gets his first point of the game. That's his third assist of the season. And Aaron Ekblad's fourth assist of the season. And then that beautiful tip in goes to Rodriguez. That's his second goal of the season. ESPN said Aaron Ekblad shot that, which it was a pretty quick reaction, but it turned out that Rodriguez got that final touch. So awesome goal by Rodriguez. It is, it is phenomenal. Um, but, but about six and a half minutes later, we would have another goal. Uh, this one, I mean, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it with every every energy of my being with this man. He is assist by Emma Rodriguez. That's his third assist of the season. And Sam Reinhardt's 10th assist of the season, the perfect duel. Off the wrist shot, the sniper, that sniping goal from their homegrown player, Tempier Finland, the Finnish captain, Alexander Barkov. That's the second goal of the season. That's the second point of the game, and he did that with, with the beauty, the big smile on his face when he shot that in his hometown. It's... it's it gives me the chills. It gives me the chills to see him with the biggest smile of his face uh, that I've seen in quite some time since since winning the Stanley Cup, of course. But to do that, scoring a goal in his hometown against Jake Ottinger and the Dallas Stars, it's incredible. It's incredible to see that, man. I love it. But Dallas would score. Uh, he is assisted by, by Matt Duchesne. That's his sixth assist of the season. And uh, Ilya... Uh, Leo Bushkin, that's his first goal or first assist of the season. He assists this with the snapshot is Tyler uh, Sagain. If Sagain, Sagain, I think that's how you pronounce it, right? I'm sorry. That's his fifth goal of the season to get Dallas on the board. It's 2 1 Florida. Uh, 30 seconds after that, Matthew Kachuk gets called for a trip against the former Panther, Mason Marchman. And Dallas would go on the power play. In this power play, Wyatt or Root hints with the wrist shot that tries to get through. But Bobrovsky, Bobrovsky had himself a really amazing day or here in America, but night over there in Finland. Wyatt Johnson with the backhand that was also saved by Bobrovsky. Robertson also tries to get one. And Jamie Benn with a tip in both times were saved by Bobrovsky. It's a mate that he, he is stopping every puck that he could. That he that he possibly can and he's and he's doing that back to Shen with the with his wrist shot opportunity but that was saved once again by Bobrovsky, Jason Robertson once again saved by Bobrovsky, and then immediately the final the final shot on target in the power play before it's killed off is Wyatt is Wyatt Johnson Jason Robertson with the tip in, all that were close calls that trying to save the puck for dear life, and he was able to he was able to keep them. He was able to keep them out. He was able to keep them out, man. It's in, it's awesome. Matthew uh, Dumba with the or Dumba with the with the hooking penalty against Matthew Kachuk, who just came out of the penalty box. Uh, Florida that goes on the power play. Aaron Ekblad tries to shoot one through, but Ottinger has it. Um, and that penalty would be. Not killed off in time because we have a goal, a power play goal just before the power play ended. He is assisted by Sam Bennett. That's his fifth assist of the season. Aaron Ekblad's second assist of the game, but also his fifth 
assists of the season and off the a terrifically beautiful deflection tip in another Finnish homegrown uh, player um, of a tip in a Finnish player from the country of Finland. It is Anton Lentel. That's his sixth goal of the season, and it's a beauty. It is a beautiful tip in deflection by Anton Lentel. And you can see that smile on his face. He is he's a lo he's loving it. And I and I'm happy that he's absolutely ecstatic. So just before the power play ends, we get a power play goal. And it's it's been it's a good game for Florida so far, as they will take this lead to the second period, being up by two, three one over the Dallas Stars. Um so second period starts one minute. A minute and a half into the second period, there would be a goal from Dallas. He is assisted by Matt Deshen. That's his seventh assist of the season. And Jason Robertson's third assist of the season. He's a primary assist. Off the snapshots, I mean, there was nothing Bobrovsky could do. Um, he is, um, he, that's his first goal of the season, too. Is Asa Lindell, not Lundell. There was some confusion from my friend earlier. But Lindell's first goal of the season came with a snapshot that just went through Bobrovsky, and it is 3-2 Florida. So, okay, so we did we had a quick start. They're also doing a quick start. Um, in the meantime, for Hagee, Mikola and Kulikov are trying to get one through Ottinger, but none of them were able to get by as, as Ottinger is trying to wake the team up, and he's trying to save every puck possible from the high level of offense by the Florida Panthers. Samuel Skevish gets called for a hook against Bor uh, Bork uh, Borke uh, Boric. I can't pronounce. I'm sorry, but um, but then Dallas goes on the power play. However, disaster struck. Disaster happened for the Dallas Stars as there will be a goal, not not power play, but a shorthanded goal, a, a special teams goal once again. But this time it's a shorthanded goal, as this guy I talked about him. That he is getting paid a bunch of money for eight more years with this team. And I said to my friend, he scored seven goals. He now scores his eighth. That's his uh, eighth goal of the season. He is assisted by Aaron Eckblad. That's his third assist of the game. That's his sixth assist of the season. And Alexander Barkov's fourth assist of the season. And he got right back to him his third shorthanded goal of the season. I swear to you, I'm not making this up. Third shorthanded goal of the season and it's eighth of the season. That's right. It's Sam Reinhardt. That is his um that is his um eighth goal of the season. Eighth goal of the season for uh for uh Sam Reinhardt. Beautiful. I love that shot. It looked like he was going to pass it back to Barkov, but he just shot it right through Ottinger. And it's now 4-2 uh, Florida Panthers, and they're right back up by two points. Power play would be killed off, not before Wyatt Johnson tries to get a tip in, but Bobrovsky had that. Um, and Evgeny Dadnoff, a former Panther as well, um, gets a gets hit the post. And it hit the post. Uh, Verhage tries to get a wrist shot, but that was saved by Ottinger. Uh, and then Mikula and Ben, uh, Jamie Ben, goes at it after the high skinning shot by a uh, shot to Bobrovsky. And those two were beating each other up, and the whole escalation kind of happened. This is where Florida Panthers want them there to get angry, to get frustrated, um, to you know, to make them have mistakes. But both players got the penalty, so it became a four-on-four four for two minutes. Aaron Eckblad gets the wrist shot off, but Ottinger has that one. And uh, the four-on-four the four will be killed off there. Mason Marchman, that gets called for a cross-check against Eckblad. Florida goes on a power play. In this power play, Barkov tries to snapshot in, but that was saved by Ottinger. Uh, Aaron Eckblad tries to get one in, but that hit the crossbar. Oh, man, above the crossbar. And Verhage also hits above the crossbar, too. That could have been 5-2, folks. It really could have been 5-2. 
the penalty will be killed off, and immediately after the, the penalty is killed off, we then get subjected into trouble as Mikola gets called for a hold against Robertson. It's just a silly move by um, by Mikola to do so, and Dallas goes Dallas goes on a power play again. Uh, Marshman with the tip in, but that was saved by Dabrowski. Um, uh, Sam Steele with the snapshot, that was also saved by Dabrowski. Uh, Bork with the backhand, but that was all Sam Bobrovsky and Tyler Sagan with the wrist shot. That was Sam Bobrovsky and the penalty. Uh, those shots happen after the penalty. The penalty would be killed off. Um, there was a moment where he was wide open to try to get the shot off, but that, but that was, I don't know how one of the shots didn't go into the back of the net. He was wide open to shoot that one. I think he was blocked. Or just an unlucky shot there to miss it completely. So that was close. But in the end, Florida Panthers with a 4-2 lead over the Dallas Stars heading to the third period. So looking pretty good now. Uh, we start off the third period with the, with the Jamie, Jamie, uh, Jamie, Jamie Ben with the snapshot that was saved by Robrowski to start off. We would have a goal 2 minutes and 30 sec 31 seconds into the third period. He is assisted by Nico Mikola. That's his fifth assist of the season. And AJ Greer's third assist of the season. And literally a snapshot goes to the back of the net. I mean, I'm really happy I say this name again. It's Mackie Santos Kevich with his second goal of the season, his second NHL goal of the season. He's gotten two goals within the, within the last three games. I'm really proud of him. Really, really proud of him that he got that goal in. So he got that amazing wraparound against the Islanders. Now he gets a really nice snapshot that just, that Otter could not see the puck that just ran through, that just sailed on by into the back of the net. It's now 5 2 Florida. It's absolutely amazing. Florida continues their aggression towards Ottinger. Um, you know, Esper Boquist tries to shoot one in, but Ottinger has that one. Jake, Jason Robinson tries to shoot one by Bobrovsky, but that didn't happen. But 10 minutes into the third period, another goal by Florida Panthers. He is assisted by Gustav Forsling. That's his fifth assist of the season. And Barkov's third assist of the uh, third assist of the game. His fifth of the season and his fourth point of the game. And he assists once again, Sam Reinhardt. That's his ninth goal of the season, his second at the game. And he and he did that with the snapshot to get one in to the back of the net by Ottinger. There was a delay of the game after that. They looked at the review, um, thinking that a couple of things that I thought was in the back of the head. What one was was a goaltending interference, or was it offside? Well, for for about a minute or two, they're looking at this. They were looking at, they were not looking at any of those things. There was no offside. There was no goaltending interference because you know one of their players actually got hurt because, uh, I, for one of the shots actually was um went right to the chest up. I think it was Sam Steele. It, the puck went right here. He got hurt for a bit, trying like a little knock the wind out of him. And it turned out that at that point, the clock stopped. The clock stopped when there was no whistle. So what happened was, that is what I like to call a clock inaccuracy. It was a clear and obvious clock inaccuracy uh, in the game. So that's what the referees were, were looking at, see how what the clock was meant to be when the goal happened. And... It took away six seconds after the initial, you know, stop by Sam Steele. Um, and then when Reinhardt scores that goal. But either way, it's a good goal. It is 6-2 Florida at this point. And then the rest of the game, I was not worried. I was not worried for the rest of the game. We had this right to the bag. Um, so it's so it's pretty nice. However, they would make they would get this shot, they would get the score in. Sam Steele tries to wrist shot in and the Bushkin with the wrist shot and Sam Steele once again with the wrist shot. And all of those were saved by Bobrovsky. But the penetration that tried, that had the puck with the loose goes, goes through under the legs of Sergei Bobrovsky. And it turned out to be a pretty good goal. I call it a penetration. 
Uh, he is. This is an assist by Lim Bushkin. That's his second assist of the season, and Sam Steele and Sam Steele's second assist of the season, and that and it's a tip in from the penetration. It's Maverick uh, Borke. Bork, that boy should I apologize? But either way, that's his first goal of the season, and then another goal by Dallas. Um, they they never pull Jake Ottinger off the ice. I, I just want to I just want to let people know that. Another goal happened by Dallas. He is assisted by Issa Lindell. That's his second assist of the season. And Logan Stankoven, that's his ninth assist of the season. And that snapshot shot is Jamie Benn uh, with this third goal of the season to make a 6-4 Florida. But that's the last goal of the game as Florida wins this one 6-4 uh, over the Dallas Stars. When we look at the team stats, Dallas with more shots on target. Uh, Bobrovsky saved 32 out of 36, of course. Um, 28 shots on target for Florida. Uh, 21 hits for Dallas, 17 hits for Florida. 35 face-off wins for Florida. Major improvements from the last few, few games. They had 31. Two power play opportunities for Florida. We got a power play goal. Three power play opportunities for Dallas. Our penalty kill stopped all of them. We would get a shorthanded goal. It's Sam Reinhardt. Who else? That's his third shorthanded goal of the season. Did I mention that? Um, we don't have to talk about penalties. 12 block shots for Florida. 18 block shots for Dallas. 8 takeaways for Florida. 7 takeaways for Dallas. 14 giveaways for Florida. And 19 giveaways for Dallas. And stars of the game. I mean, you have to give this to the homegrown player. It's Alexander Barkov with one star. Player of the game with one goal, three assists, four points. Incredible. Two stars goes to Sam Reinhardt with two goals and assists. And three stars, they give this to Issa Lindell. They give this to Issa Lindell, or Issa Lindell with three stars, one goal, one assist from Dallas. I thought it was pretty interesting. Our next game is, well, tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. 12 o'clock p.m. I, initially, it was 11 o'clock a.m., but I guess they changed it to an hour later. So, once again, tomorrow, uh, 12 o'clock p.m., at the same time the Hurricane game is going to happen. So, I'll be watching both games at the same time. And we would, I think we should see the two backup goalies. Um, the two backup goalies, like Spencer Knight um, and Annette tomorrow. So, I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, once again, I'm so proud of these guys. It's a huge, it's a huge wholesome moment for these guys, especially if they're from Finland, and especially Barkov. I'm really happy for that, and I'm happy that they got this win as well. It's a, it's a pretty darn good game, and Dallas is no pushover, but yet Florida Panthers, of course, a better team. But we'll see what happens tomorrow as we conclude the global series, and we go right back to Florida against Nashville. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for content because my name TVG has your back. And what he does, he'll be right there with your favorite entertainment user. It's my TVG. Stand up, folks. Good night, everybody.